It's the 14th anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks uh, that took almost 3,000 lives in New York and Washington and Pennsylvania. And it's always incredibly uh, moving and meaningful uh, to observe and commemorate uh, those events and the, the people we lost here in Israel with friends who really understand what it means to lose loved ones uh, to terror. It was a day that New York really stopped, the whole world stopped, and everyone, it didn't matter where you were from, what you believed in, where, what religion you were, you, you felt lost and you wanted to help out your, your neighbors and your friends. And that was something that really impacted me, and I still remember some things from that day, even though it was so long ago and I was so young. That's, that's the way uh, we commemorate uh, the end Judea uh, year course uh, on 9-11. That's a great uh, way and we, we are honored to be here. That's the second year uh, we were uh, invited to participate. We also find that same uh, spirit here in Israel. People who have suffered together, have lost together, have mourned together. Uh, so it gives us a lot of strength and a, a lot of uh, sense of solidarity uh, when, we, when we observe this event here. The 9-11 uh, Memorial and Museum in New York has collected uh, evidence and artifacts and fragments and testimonies uh, all connected to the events that happened during that day. Uh, and uh, when you go there and you see the, the, the items that people had in their hands as they tried to escape or uh, in their last moments alive, uh, you can almost feel yourself uh, present there. Today we heard one of the testimonies uh, as part of our ceremony of a, a man named Bruno Dellinger who described uh, escaping down the stairwells uh, with uh, people like himself who had not been injured and were simply trying as quickly as possible to exit the tower. Um, that was a, a very powerful uh, element of this year's ceremony.